Hello, my name is Pastor Mike, and I serve at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Elizabeth, Illinois. This is episode number 33, which is titled, A Christianity or Islam. Here's a question for you that has divided people for thousands of years. Which is the true faith? Which is the true religion that is being blessed by God that will lead their followers to God, to heaven and an eternal life in the new creation. Is it Christianity or is it Islam? Today, we're going to find out. Our text is Genesis chapter 25, verses 1 through 18. Abraham's death and his descendants. Abraham took another wife whose name was Keturah. She bore him Zimran, Jokshim, Medan, Midian, Isbak, and Shua. Jokshim fathered Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Dedan were Asarim, Lethusim, and Lumim. The sons of Midian were Epa, Epher, Hanak, Abida, and Elda. All these were the children of Keturah. Abraham gave all he had to Isaac, but to the sons of his concubines, Abraham gave gifts, and while he was still living, he sent them away from his son Isaac, eastward to the east country. These are the days of the years of Abraham's life, 175 years. Abraham breathed his last and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. Isaac and Ishmael, his sons, buried him in the cave of Mechpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, east of Mamre, the field that Abraham purchased from the Hittites. There Abraham was buried, with Sarah, his wife, after the death of Abraham, God blessed Isaac, his son, and Isaac settled at Beer Lahai Roy. These are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, who Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's servant, bore to Abraham. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael, named in the order of their birth. Nebaioth, the firstborn of Ishmael, and Kader, Adbeel, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tima, Jatur, Napish, and Kadima. These are the sons of Ishmael and their names, by their villages and by their encampments, twelve princes according to their tribes. These are the years of the life of Ishmael. 137 years, he breathed his last and died, and was gathered to his people. They settled from Havilah to Shur, which is opposite Egypt in the direction of Assyria. He settled over against all his kinsmen. So far, our text. So, in our text for today, Abraham dies, and he is buried in the promised land next to his wife Sarah in the cave of Mechpelah, which leads to a question that has divided people for thousands of years. Which son of Abraham would the covenant that God made to Abraham be passed to? Isaac or Ishmael? Is this a big deal? Oh, yes, it is. 
It is recorded in the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verses 2 and 3, that God made a covenant with Abraham with these exact words. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you, and I will make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and those who dishonor you I will curse. And in you, Abraham, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Now this is significant. Because if Isaac was the son whom God's covenant would be passed to, and through his descendants, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, then that means that the Israelites the descendants of Isaac, would be blessed through Jesus. But if Abraham's firstborn son Ishmael, whose mother was Hagar, Sarah's servant, if God's covenant to Abraham would be passed to Ishmael and to his descendants, then that means that the Ishmaelites, the Arab nations, the nation of Islam, the Muslims, would be blessed through Muhammad. A big difference. How can we know for sure? Who is the Messiah? Is it Jesus or is it Muhammad? Is Christianity the means by which the nations of the world would be blessed? Or is it through the Muslim faith, which is the true religion? In our text for today, verse 5, I quote, Abraham gave all he had to Isaac. Now that means that Isaac was the sole legal heir. But would God's covenant be passed through him? Not sure. Until we go to Genesis chapter 17, verse 19, where God said to Abraham, and I quote, Sarah, your wife, shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his offspring after him. As for Ishmael, I have heard you. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and multiply him greatly. He shall father twelve princes, and I will make him into a great nation. But I will establish my covenant with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear to you at this time next year. This is the determining factor in the word of God. The nations of the world would be blessed through the land, through the line of Isaac, through his descendant, our Lord Jesus. Through Christianity, all the nations of the world would be blessed with the good news of about forgiveness through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There you have it. Christianity or Islam, which is the means by which God is blessing all of the nations. It is Christianity. Remember the text Genesis chapter 17, verse 19. The Lord God is clear. Amen.